Hello, a very warm welcome to a special week, a magnificent Saturday night ahead here in Glasgow. Welcome to our viewers on Sky Sports News and all over the world after a fabulous February where our partners, Boxer, under the CEO guidance of Ben Shalom, have staged some memorable modern events. We're really up and running. And now we welcome our U.S. partners, Todd DeBerth, who I can't wait to see when he arrives tomorrow, Bob Arum and all the terrific top-ranked team as well, who are here for one of their and our crown jewels. The homecoming of the fabulous Josh Taylor, the undisputed super lightweight champion. What he's done has been remarkable, and now he defends his treasure here. And the first time ever that all four belts will be contested, defended and challenged on UK soil. It's a special night against an excellent fellow unbeaten fighter in Jack Catrell. Josh undefeated in 18, Jack in 26. 44 fights unbeaten between them with 26 knockouts. It really is a, a terrific fight. Straight to the fighters. Jack, I'll start with you. It's a massive challenge. You're stepping up to meet Josh Taylor for all the belts, and you have to do it here in hostile territory. It's not easy, this game, is it? But I know you're ready for it. No, it's a challenge that I'm relishing. Uh, <clears throat> I feel the fight week buzz now. Uh, got a good reception yesterday at the public workout. We're here now. It feels real. It feels good. I'm excited to get stuck in on Saturday. I know you've been waiting really patiently for this. And you knew it was going to happen. You've got a very tight-knit team. I see Nigel Travers down there, Jamie Moore, and your family around you. And they believe in you that you can do this, which would obviously be a big upset. Of course, it's been a long, it's been a long journey to get to this point. <clears throat> These last two years being mandatory, there's been a lot of speed bumps, roadblocks in the way, but I can put all that behind me now. The fight's here, we're two days away from the fight. Uh, so more than it, just buzzing to be here and uh, excited now to get in there Saturday night. I mean, you were over in Vegas almost cheering Josh on, weren't you, when he had that superb win over Ramirez. So you've been studying him, and obviously Jamie has intently for a long, long time. Yeah, Josh will tell you, I was there uh, in Josh's room after the fight, congratulating him, I went there. Uh, on my own, Jamie come the week later for Chantel Cameron's fight. <clears throat> I was Team Josh that week. I wanted Josh to win the fight, uh, hoping that this week I could be sat here uh, challenging the top boy in the division. And great to see that respect between the pair of you, but it is serious business now, and this is for your family, for your life. It's a, it's a career-changing night for you, potentially. Yeah, it's come tenfold. I was mandatory for the WBO title. Uh, and after waiting two years, I've got a chance now to, to capture the undisputed. I've not just come up here to make up the numbers. I've been in the gym working continuously for the last 18 months, two years for this opportunity. A mandatory and a dangerous challenge for you, Josh Taylor. You wouldn't like it any other way. You're back in Scotland. I've seen a smile on your face all week. You are uh, all over the fans at the workouts. Terrific to see. Do you, do you feel this is happening at exactly the right time for you now? Yeah, I'm delighted to be back home. You know, um, the last two years has been frustrating for everybody. You know, um, the last two years for me and myself, Box twice, once behind completely closed doors, no one there. And then the second one was in Vegas, which was a sort of limited crowd as well. You know, I couldn't take my friends, my family, or a travelling support with me. You know, it was just me, myself, and the team. You know, so we couldn't soak up all the atmosphere and, and take up the, the big fight week and, you know, and, and, and enjoy it all and soak it all up. We were total, fo totally focused on what we had to do and uh, we got the right result. But coming back here, coming back home, Seeing all the fans again, full house, sold out arena, you know, back in Glasgow, my home arena, um, since it's been the Commonwealth Games, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted to be back and can't wait for Saturday now. Wasn't this the building that you won your Commonwealth Games gold medal in? It was, yeah, the Hydro, yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, I've got a, a long, a long uh, journey of success here and it's going to continue on Saturday night. No, absolutely no different, same result, different day. 
You're obviously annoyed that you couldn't have that success in front of all your fans over in, in Vegas against Ramirez. Do you think it lost a bit of shine and that you've been waiting for this chance where it's going to be a packed house, flower of Scotland? We know the great nights up here in, in Scotland over the years. I know you looked up to Alex Arthur and Scott Harris and Ricky Burns. So many fantastic nights we've seen. This is going to be another, which is right up there. It's going to be incredible in there. Yeah, it's going to be great. You know, um, everyone, everyone's been starved in nights out and things to do for the last two years, you know, and up here there's not been much happening. So, yeah, everybody's came out in their numbers. They've sold out and we've got, I've got fans, uh, an abundance of fans coming up from England um, supporting me. I've got, probably got more fans coming up from England to support me than Jack Scott coming up supporting him. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great night. I can't wait. Jack, you got one or two from Chorley? I'm sure you do. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> minibus coming up from Charlie, 1020 and that, so... We'll be sweet. <laughs> They'll be okay. Of course, it's, it's very much your world, though, uh, Josh. And, I mean, there's so much pressure and attention on you now. Uh, pound for pound, one of the kings. You know, arguably, maybe Tyson would argue, the best fighter we've got as well. And uh, what, what, what are the aims? Is it just to deal with business on Saturday? And then I know you want to try and become a two-weight world champion. There's huge names. Terence Crawford was Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, no, 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 that, don't be talking about that as, as Jack on Saturday. It's his turn next. You know, it's his turn to get the beating on Saturday, which I'm going to dish out um, on Saturday. So that's all I'm thinking about is Jack Carroll. He's standing my way to do other things. He's here to try and take away what I've worked so hard to get. You know, I've cleaned out the division, did it the hard way. He's getting a shot at the jackpot in one fight, and uh, I'm going to put him in his place on Saturday. Interesting. You said that on the media tour several weeks ago. You didn't want to think about anyone other than Jack Cattrall, and it's, it's the only name on your mind. This is all about Saturday. Yeah, yeah 100%. So no worries about anyone else out there that's talking? No worries at all. I'm not thinking about anything else other than, than beating Jack on Saturday. How good do you think he is? He's good. We'll find out on Saturday. But, you know, he's, he's in for a long night. You know, he's in for a long, painful, methodical beatdown on, on Saturday. You think it's about levels? I think it's a little bit about levels as well, yeah. Um, but he does things well, but I'm fully prepared what he does. He makes so many mistakes. And um, he's, he's in for a long, painful night on Saturday. Let's get down to Jamie Moore, trainer of uh, Jack Cattrall, of course. Jamie, you've talked openly about this, this levels thing, that, that Josh has proved it at the, in the elite at the very highest. But Jack hasn't had the opportunity yet. He's done everything that's asked of him. But if you look at the resume, it's not as impressive as Josh. But this is the chance. Absolutely. I think it, Josh is right. This sport is about levels. Um, the, the fact that Jack hasn't boxed at that level yet doesn't mean he can't. At some point, you know, if you think about it logically, every single fighter at some point has never boxed at that level, but it doesn't mean they can't. They eventually prove themselves, and that's what Jack will do on Saturday. How confident are you? Obviously, you've studied Josh for a long time. You're a boxing man through and through, Jamie. You, uh, you know how good he is. But how confident are you that your man has got the, the minerals and the equipment and, and the tools to be able to deal with this and the night that's going to be presented for him? Of course, to, 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 to be able to beat someone like Josh, you've got to have so much stuff to, you at, to your armourer. Um, you've got to be intelligent, you've got to be strong, you've got to be sharp, you've got to have um, you've got a good engine. Um, I know I've got all those things in Jack Carroll. You've got to have a good game plan. I feel like we've got a good game plan. Um, the, you've got to hold it all together on the night. So, so these are all little different aspects what all fall into place. And... I know I've got a fighter in Jack Carter who's capable of doing that. Will he do it on Saturday? Only time will tell, but I'm more than confident he can do it. The perfect professional record, albeit the sort of best wins against the likes of Ahara Davis and your Tyrone Nurses, but we know he sparred with Mayweather and, and Canelo. We know that Carl Frampton rates him enormously highly. So many do that have seen him up close and personal. Do you think we just haven't seen in the professional arena quite the full Jack Cattrall yet? Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, from, from what I've seen of his capabilities, the better the fighter he's in with, the better he performs. You know, and that could explain some of the um, lesser performances as in, as in the professionals because of the uh, opposition in front of him. So that means on Saturday night, he's in with one of the best powerful fighters in the world. You're going to see a terrific fight. You've got a buzzing stable. You and Nigel doing great things for the sport. What would it mean to your team, your close team, if Jack can become the undisputed super lightweight champion Saturday night here in Scotland? Well, he doesn't get bigger than that in the sport, does it? And, uh, and we're, we're very focused on the fighters, and I know what it means to Jack. So knowing what it means to Jack, 
that means it mean the world to us because that means that we've done our job properly and we've been able to help him do it. Two fabulous fighters, two fabulous trainers. There's one in one corner, there's one certainly in the other corner as well. Ben Davidson, uh, welcome. Great to see you. Um, as Josh is saying, it's all about Jack Cantrell. That's what this camp's been based on, and that's what you guys are going to deliver Saturday night. No talk of anything else beyond. No, of course, you know, I always say that, um, you know, you go into a fight as a champion, but the moment that first bell rings, those belts go up in the air and you've got to earn them again. And Josh has got that challenger mentality, you know, and uh, that's what keeps him dangerous. That's what's going to keep him performing. Um, you know, like you said, there's a lot of expectation on Josh and no pressure, no diamond. And uh, Josh loves the pressure and that's what makes him perform. Every time he's put under, been put under pressure, he's performed and that won't change come Saturday night. We know your journey working with Tyson Fury, and now you've got a huge, incredibly good and gifted stable of fighters. What's special about Josh Taylor? We can see it in the 18 fights he's had, the amateur experience as well. But working up close with him, what is it that's different about Josh Taylor to your average fighter? Well, on top of his capabilities and his skill set, the size of him for 140 pounds, the fact that he's so fast and sharp at that size at 140 pounds, Plus, he's got balls like King Kong. Um, the tough as now, uh, you know, a Rolls Royce engine is the full package. And uh, that's why he is the undisputed light like, welterweight champion of the world. And uh, he'll go in and show all those traits and whatever traits he needs to pull out the bag on Saturday night. You and we can't see many weaknesses at the moment with Josh. No, look, you know. Jack's a solid fighter and he's got to this position because he's earned it. You know, this is a mandatory defense, not a voluntary defense. So, of course, you know, he poses threats and uh, Jamie and Jack would have come up with a game plan. It's the same as us. You know, we'll be looking at Jack, his strengths, his weaknesses. And we'll be looking at the same things in Josh. And we come together with a game plan um, to make sure that, you know, uh, things go to plan on, on Saturday night. And uh, for Josh, he's, you know, he's not just average in every area. He's exceptional in every area. And he's a very, very hard man to beat. And I believe that he's unbeatable at 140 pounds. Exceptional fighter with an exceptional crowd. What performance will you be happy with on Saturday night? Look, we're happy with a win. We come to win, whether it's via stoppage, whether it's via a, a, a points decision, you know. Um, the main thing is coming out with a W and, and moving on and, and assessing what's next after that. But until then, we're just fully, fully focused on Jack Cattrall. Josh, is it about coming out with a W or is it about a statement, a scintillating stoppage of Jack Cattrall? No, it's about getting the win. It's about getting the W. It's all about getting the win, but I do definitely feel I'm going to walk Jack into some big shots. I'm going to come and he's going to walk into some big, massive shots. I know that for sure. Um, you know, and I think I can get the knockout, but I'm not be going out looking for it, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, I just don't see a way that he can beat me in this fight, you know, and I don't, know, I don't know how he's going to do it. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I'm prepared for every single way. Whatever he brings, I'm more than prepared for. High praise, high praise from Ben Davison, of course, basically saying you're exceptional in every single department. Do you feel that? Do you feel that there isn't a sort of chink in the armour? I can do everything well. I can do, I can do it all. I can box on the front foot, the back foot. I can counter box. I can fight on the inside, fight on the outside. I can go orthodox. I can change. I can do the lot. I can do the lot. I'm a good fighter. I'm a, I'm a brilliant fighter. I know I am. Um, and I, I'm going to go and improve it again, again on, on, on Saturday. Jack, how do you find the chink in the armour? Can you do it? Can you be successful and take these belts back to Chorley? What a story it would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident in doing that uh, for the last six months, a year now. Uh, we've been looking at Josh uh, and studying things. Uh, we've got a game plan for Saturday night, and I believe that if I can execute that to the best of my ability, it's more than enough to beat Josh. Josh is saying a win. Maybe a stoppage, but the win is all important. What are you predicting? Yeah, right back at it. It's the same. We're going there, not going to go hunting for the knockout. If it presents itself, I'll be jumping on it. But ultimately, it's about going out there and getting the W, getting the hand raised. And I know there's, there's needle, obviously, a little bit of, of tension, making weight tomorrow, the fight on Saturday night. But, but it, it's good, isn't it, for boxing that we've seen Eubank and Williams, we've seen Khan and Brooke, and they're embracing at the end after their 17-year you know, history that the two of you have got huge respect for each other. It's great for the boxing business, isn't it? Yeah, the, I think the respect's been there. Uh, me and Josh both know once that bell goes Saturday night, the respect's out the window. Uh, we can shake hands after, but right now it's... Uh, 
we're going to punch each other's heads in and that's it. <laughs> and final word. Can you punch your phone number in, you can't. You clown. Final word, how excited are you for Saturday night and what are you going to deliver? Saturday night, I hope everybody tunes in. Uh, it's a fight we've been, been waiting for for a long time. Excited for this fight. Uh, I expect fireworks. Josh, we'll leave the last word with you. What are you going to give your home crowd? I think it's the fifth time you'll be appearing in the Hydro, but it's a special one for you to bring the belts back to show I them. I can't wait. You know, I've, I've been away for a couple of years now. Almost three years I've been away for on the road, you know, boxing in front of no one and then in, in, in uh, Vegas again. So back here, full house capacity. And I can't wait. The atmosphere is going to be amazing, you know. So, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get on a, a good performance. But, you know, I'm not going to be going out looking for um, the knockout and just trying to knock him out. I'm, I'm just going to put on a, a real good, polished performance. And he's going to be in for a painful night because I'm going to hit him with the kitchen sink. Live on Sky Sports, live on ESPN Plus, around the world. You can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Fantastic. Josh Taylor, Jack Cattrall, seriously good fight on Saturday night for the undisputed super lightweight treasure. All the belts are around, as we can see. We'll bring them up. We'll have a head-to-head -head down here, and the boys will be around for some one-on-ones, I'm sure. Wish them well. It's a great fight.